Quinn. And Erin from Catherine CIYs. So, I'm sorry that we haven't, like, uploaded videos a lot yet. What we're going to do today is we're going to be doing a DIY brush holder because my brushes are, like, meh. They're in random places all over the place. <laughs> so, um, let's get into it. Are you tired of having all your makeup brushes in unstable places? Yeah! Where you can't find them? Yes, how can I change that? Watch this DIY to find out how to keep your brushes neat and tidy. Yeah. Now I'll be making one out of a plastic cup. So, there are many different types of duct tape. So, I'm going to start off with one for the rim. So take it up and sort of like size it. The one, because give me those increments of the, my duct tape. So then you think this is you think this is enough, just leave it. Then you take it, and then you just start to lap around. Ooh, yeah. It's a little bit hard at first, and just try not to get any wrinkles in. If you get wrinkles in, it's no big deal. It's not going to make a difference. It's not like it's going to be sold in some famous art show somewhere. But I would just try not to. I don't know how to handle scissors. Anyway, it's always important to try. I think I need four hands. Anyway, so now that you have that done, you should press all the loose ends down, then you can start the color. Since I have a colorful band around the top, I would go for a less colorful, which we don't have, so I'm going to be completely insane and go for the stars. The star, I did cut off a little bit of the stars because it's wrinkly, but you know, I'm not going to use the stars, I've decided I shall use the cupcakes. So the cupcakes says who does not love cupcakes who does not so I'm just gonna cut this little loose end off because it's wrecked no one can use it it was cut like it was really it was making pants or whatever so what you're gonna do is you're going to take it I know you can't really see from the side but it's hard to show it any other angle you're gonna take it from this side then you're just gonna go around not going to be perfect. I can see that already from the fact that I'm probably not the best at DIY crafts. So you can only see Kay's hand is helping me. What the heck? Okay, you can look around. What the heck is wrong with this tape? Anyway, I've never been really good at duct tape stuff. Okay, I, I understand. <laughs> okay, so yeah, stop laughing. Anyway, this is not very good. You just have to mush down the edges. And so I'm gonna use the same color now. I'm gonna redo the top. Of course, I'm gonna add like another layer here. But I'm also going to do the same color because sometimes having a different color looks good, but I don't really think that's the look I want to have for this. Because this is, this this is gonna hold all my makeup stuff. So I want to be a little bit more serious and girly and like adult-ish, which is kind of ridiculous for a teenager to say, but whatever. Okay, so cut it. So I see from the top now that I need a little bit more rainbow. So where's the rainbow? Yeah, this is not working. <sighs> this is gonna be really bad, but whatever. It's fine. Cause duct tape is sometimes really hard to mold and shape. So if yours comes out horrible, just like mine, don't be upset. Don't like. Don't be upset. Don't go in your room and watch Netflix for ten hours. It's okay. So I'm just gonna add another thing of rainbow because no one is going to be drinking out of this fabulous cup anymore because I duct taped it down and if they did, they get their mouth on the duct tape that who knows who is touched. 
thing. So, no one's going to touch it anymore, so I'm not afraid to do the rim. And as you can probably see, it looks a little bit better, but I just need a little bit more cupcake, but the cupcake is really thick. But moving on, I can do that later. I'm going to use beads. Well, I already have beads here, so... This is one Kay made, but the video got messed up. So this is one that she made using the splatter paint, which I believe they still make. Then you just pour these two things. One is from an Alex craft called Just Pearls. The other is from a, a craft place called Bead Landing. You can, it's seven ounces. You can get it at Michael's and it wouldn't probably cost you that much. So now, Placing the brushes in, like they move a little bit, but it's not like they're jumping around and stuff. I don't know if this is gonna fit, but I'm gonna make an attempt. This don't really work, this is like a big brush. See, oh, it's a little big handle. So it isn't gonna work, but you could probably just lay it there and it looks really cute. And also, here's what the mason jar would look like. And we did the same thing. We just wrapped the tape around, except with the mason jar, and just put beads in. So, um, if you drop things a lot, but if you look at the clip and I'm like jumping around with this, I would probably go for the plastic cup. And if you have any questions or comments at all, just write them in the comment box. <laughs> Phone on. <laughs> okay, I have to go do something. Okay. I am the healer of the wild, honey. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I hope you liked our video. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Tell all your friends. Bye. Bye.